Hello, my name is Sebastian Vega. I am a fifth year graduate student in chemical engineering and biomedical engineering at Rutgers University. So one piece of advice that I would give is um, don't take your classes for granted. If you would like to continue your education, um, do so and uh, don't let a paycheck or something like that get in the way. Okay, so my name is Cheryl Gamillion. I'm originally from South Carolina and my doctoral work was completed at Clemson University. I also did my undergraduate studies there as well, so I kind of was in the same institution for a while in bioengineering. So if I had to suggest one thing, it would be to find something that you can be passionate about um, because you spend a lot of time, and if this is your career choice, like you will spend a lot of time, countless hours, like it doesn't just stay at work when you leave, you take this work home with you. So you have to really enjoy what it is that you're doing. Hi, I'm Tom Gramlich. I graduated from RIT in 1971, and I went to the cooperative training program in mechanical engineering and with Xerox, which was very good. I think the most important thing is persistence, and biomedical engineering is important as any engineering curriculum is. It's going to be difficult to get through the process, but I can tell you that I persisted. And it took a little more than five years, five and a half, but I made it to the end and that's what's really important. So as an engineer, although I have the electrical background, you're working closely with all the other engineering disciplines, the mechanical engineers, the software engineers, all the different engineers. There are a lot of times when I'm given a project, given a problem that I have to solve that includes other com types of engineering components. As an engineer, you're trained to solve problems, and you may have a background in one specific discipline, but that does not mean you're stuck in that discipline. Another important thing besides persistence is taking some pride in your work and really feeling as if it was your project, your company, your problem, and what can you do to solve that. And so the extra mile that you go to do it yourself or find someone to work with, your boss or the colleagues, to really get to the bottom of something and make a real significant improvement or a contribution is how you will stand out and become successful.